and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm going to be riding the ride one up cafe cruiser as you see it right there so let me hop aboard and tell you what I wanted to talk about on this video <clears throat> let's get started here I usually use the throttle to get myself going and then pedal and kind of that's kind of the topic I want to talk about on this video so people people often wonder why they don't see me pedaling well if you look down here now you'll see I'm pedaling and I also feel a couple of raindrops but uh, for me it depends on the bike I'm riding this bike the only time I did a no pedal ride was when I did a demonstration I think I did actually two rides because I did one testing the speed when I unlocked the bike a throttle only speed test and then the second time I did a well the second time I did a ride just showing off the bike with no uh, pedaling just throttle only and so this bike though I, I like pedaling it it's my pedal bike and I like to keep my bike at pedal assist level 3 this has 5 assist levels I like pedal assist 3 and I like the uh, my gear to be set at uh, 8 squirrel there and uh, that's where I feel comfortable and your ride is about between 15 to 18 miles an hour if I'm on a bike path then I cut it back to about pedal assist level 2 sometimes even 1 but this bike is so nice and smooth, easy to ride, very lightweight. It weighs about 65 pounds, but it, to me it feels light, really light. And I love these swept back handlebars, they make for a good position. Nice seat on this bike too. I wasn't expecting the raindrops, but oh well. But what I was going to uh, talk about on this video was pedaling and how many of you out there pedal your bike? Because I know there are some that just throttle and some that do both. I like doing both. It depends, like I say, on the bike I'm riding. And I do not uh, pedal my Lyric Graffiti First of all, that's only a one speed, and it's not really a pedal bike, in my opinion. So then some people might say, well, that's not a bicycle. Well, maybe it's not, but I bought it as an electric bicycle, so. It still has the pedals and can be propelled. I have pedaled it before, but not that much. I think of that more as my throttle bike and this one is more of my pedal bike but how how about you guys out there uh, first of all let us know what bike I'm always curious what what others are riding what bike are you riding what's your go-to bike or do you have multiple bikes it's pretty hard I think in the e-bike world if you get into this to just have one bike I think you need at least two or three it's always fun presuming you know you you have that you know you're able to purchase bikes because let's face it they are not cheap but uh it's always nice to be able to pull out a different bike and take it for a ride and if you haven't ridden one for a while and you get back on it you forget how nice that bike is too kind of thing you know I'm able to coast right here down the hill but yeah let us know in the uh, comments what bike you're riding I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what everybody's riding out there I just went by a few minutes ago here a guy riding electric see quite a few of those 
the ones I see the most in my area here are the I see a Venton. I see uh, electric and I see a lot of uh, rad power bikes as well. Uh, those are the three I think I see the most. I do see uh, some Trek. And if I had to say which one I see the most, I think Rad. Although I'm seeing more this year, I think, than ever the electric. I'm seeing a lot of those in my neighborhood here. Uh, they've really come up a lot, electric. Uh, but I think still the winner is probably Rad. I see a lot of those. I don't want to go down utility work ahead. I'm going to do a turnaround here. Go back the other way. I don't want to stop in case they have you stopping. I've seen a few Sarans. Funny thing is, I have not seen one Onyx. I know they're now no longer, but I have yet to see an Onyx. Super 73, I've seen those. A few of those. And pretty soon I'm going to see a Lyric Graffiti X because I'm going to be the owner of that one. I can't wait for that and that will be my definitive go-to bike for sure. So here I am cruising along, pedal assist 3, gear 8. 18 miles an hour. So yeah, do you pedal? Do you throttle? Do you do both? I mean, even on this bike, I said I pedal this one. I've only a couple of times ridden it where I uh, used the throttle and that was because I wanted to do a video to show the bike with throttle only, but otherwise I throttle like this to get myself going for about three or four seconds and then I pedal once the bike gets going because I don't like to be changing pedal assist levels all the time and changing gears. I like to keep it at the same the whole time. And so in that case, and also I like to throttle to get the bike going because it is a bit hard to start off pedaling unless you went to a lower gear and I don't want to keep changing gears I mean it's not that hard to do but it's I like to just keep it like this and once I get going away I go and we're all good One thing I don't have on this bike, and I really should, and I don't know why I haven't put one on yet, but it's a mirror. I did put a bell on here. It doesn't come with a bell or a mirror. I'm going to have to get mirrors on my Graffiti X as well, and I'll probably, I think I'm going to wind up putting uh, two, uh, two mirrors on. I don't like the bar end mirrors, if I can help it, because they stick out too far, and... I prefer the upright mirrors. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to cruise around on the uh, Cafe Cruiser. And I hadn't taken it out in a while, so it felt good to get out for a little ride on that despite a couple of raindrops. It's not, not a big deal though. So there's another look at the bike. Thread coming out of the seat there. Or just a hair or something on there. All right, well that's gonna do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. 
If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And like we were mentioning earlier, let us know what bikes you ride. Uh, what bike is your go-to bike? Or do you have more than one bike? Let us know what you're riding. It's always cool to know what others are riding out there. So that's going to do it for this video once again. But we'll be back for another one again next time. So until then, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.